So this is our little patch of fake grass in the backyard. It's uh, eight and a half years old, and I don't know if you can see it that well. But right about here, you can see the sand that was laid down into the bottom of the grass, which is how you put it down. And it's starting to show through. And the biggest problem we had was we had uh, one of the family dogs over the other day rolled around a few times and absolutely covered in these green grass things. It's just falling apart. So it's time for it to come up, replace it. It used to look something like this. Here's a bit that stayed in the shade. So that looks pretty good. But the stuff that is out in the sun, eight and a half years, has got beaten to a pulp. Ultraviolet light, can't stop it. One of the other clues you know about when it's time to get rid of it is this stuff has shrunk. So there's about a one inch, maybe more gap all the way around. And this is forming a, a kind of a ridge here because it's nailed down around the edges. There's a nail about here, a couple of nails there somewhere. And uh, it's just curling up around the edge. So it's time to go. Wood block, shovel, edges. I'm just gonna pop it up. I'll probably do this by hand once I get it started. Yeah, you can see the nails that are holding it down. The rest of it is by the weight of the sand in there, which I'm going to try and reuse. So we'll see how that works. Here's one of the tape joints. <coughs> tape that sticks them together. Alright, so I'm starting to peel it back. You can see I'm getting some of the sand out of the stuff I'm turning over. I'm going to cut it into three foot chunks so it can slowly go away in our black barrel. Alright, so the first six feet got about a wheelbarrow's worth of sand out of this narrower piece. I don't know how to get the green stuff out, I don't have a screen small enough. Okay, it seems to be the way to get the sand out. Roll up about a three foot section. Knock all the sand out. And shovel it into the wheelbarrow. And while it's over here, I'm going to cut it. We did finish it off. Andrew came round helped us out. So we've got it all up. It's all ready for the new stuff now. And we're going to use galvanized nails instead of the rusty ones. Some of the rusty ones we pulled out, there was nothing left of them. So they weren't holding anything down. Right, 